I hypothesize that uh, the character Bertha Mason in Jane Eyre uh, by Charlotte Bronte had Huntington's disease. And uh, this would have been about 20 years before George Huntington's seminal description on Huntington's disease, yet it meets the three tenets that he proposed in that paper. The first tenant was of its hereditary nature, and certainly Bertha Mason had a strong family history of three generations of uh, progressive uh, neuropsychiatric disorder. The second tenant was of its insanity uh, and suicide, and Bertha Mason clearly had a psychiatric uh, disease that uh, progressed uh, from early adulthood uh, onwards and led her to have cognitive issues uh, and also allusions to being uh, improper or impropriety, which is something that Huntington wrote in his essay. And that other tenant, uh, and number two, was the tendency towards suicide. And Bertha Mason, uh, life climaxed in suicide when she jumped from the top of Thornfield Hall in the novel. And then the third tenant uh, was of it uh, starting in adulthood, and that's when it became evident to Mr. Rochester that this woman that he had married had a progressive neuropsychiatric disease. And the other feature that isn't in Huntington's essay so much was the abnormal movements. And Jane talks about this when she is first introduced to Bertha Mason as a woman having, uh, being a beast-like, growling, uh, running about backwards and forwards, uncontrollable. And even a scene where Bertha Mason and Rochester, or uh, Bertha Mason attacks Rochester, Jane describes it as being amidst the fiercest uh, convulsive plunges, uh, kind of depicting a hyperkinetic movement disorder.